to uh, thank the Social Development Center Waterloo Region and the Kitchener Waterloo Visitable Housing Task Force for inviting the uh, Kitchener Waterloo Association of Realtors to participate in today's panel. Uh, before I talk about the KW Association of Realtors, um, of Realtors and, and how <clears throat> and has integrated visible housing in our MLS system, I'd like to provide a little bit of background. Uh, the Kitchener Waterloo Association of Realtors is a not-for-profit association founded over 75 years ago and we represent over 1,300 local realtor members. In addition to providing professional development, seminars and advocacy, we also operate the local MLS system. And I'd like to take a brief moment to explain what the MLS system is since I suspect many have the incorrect impression when many people hear MLS, they think about the public-facing advertising website, Realtor.ca, or what many still com uh, commonly refer to as MLS.ca. However, the public website is simply the advertising vehicle for the property listing of member brokers. It's also important to understand that the MLS system itself is not simply a database. Rather, an MLS system is a cooperative selling system operated and promoted by local real estate board, such as QUAR, and includes an inventory of listings of participating realtor members, ensures a high level of accuracy for this information, requires our realtors to maintain a higher standard of professionalism and code of ethics, and ensures, and ensures standards of cooperation between realtors. This is a unique concept in the world of commerce in a sense that, uh, that competitors are sharing both their inventory and historical sales data with each other, all for the purpose of better serving the consumer. Up until very recently, the Kitchener-Waterloo Association of Realtors MLS system, like most boards in Ontario, was a standalone system which covered, for the most part, its own local geo geographical uh, jurisdiction. That landscape is changing, however. Today, the KW Association of Realtors now operates on a shared regional MLS system with three other real estate boards, that being Cambridge, Guelph, and the Oakville Milton Real Estate Association, and that will grow. Other boards in Ontario are looking at the opportunity to join our regional uh, system. Today, we now have over 3,500 realtors using one common system across these four trading areas. As you can appreciate, regionalizing our MLS system provides our members with greater information while ensuring standards of professionalism and cooperation between all users. You can also appreciate that getting to this point of regionalizing four real estate boards into one common shared MLS with one set of rules, common fields, shared common forms, and converting mapping the historical data of all four boards into one system was a massive undertaking and it took more than a few years to complete. This is what made Trudy's timing perfect. It was the summer of 2014 when the Visitable Housing Task Force first approached the Kitchener-Waterloo Association of Realtors about putting on a Visitable Housing Workshop for Realtors. We held our first workshop in February of 2015 and another followed in the spring. One of the outcomes from the first workshop was the realization that we, as a real estate industry, we're not doing a very good job of identifying homes with accessibility features. In these workshops, realtors spoke up and shared their own experiences and frustrations of trying to find suitable properties for clients who needed homes that were accessible or even adaptable. This is when the question was asked if, it, if this was something the real estate board could integrate into the MLS system. Traditionally making changes, adding fields to the MLS system is a complicated, difficult, and expensive proposition. But fortunately, in this instant, timing was ideal 
as we had this unique window of opportunity to actually build and include the visibility as a field in our new regional MLS system. So now as a realtor, if I want to search for a home that is visitable, I can do that. Or if I have a listing that meets the visibility criteria, I can identify my listing as being visitable. And while this is all really wonderful, and we are very happy to be able to integrate the feature into the system, the challenge now is getting people to use it and to use it correctly. If I log into our system today and search the visible homes of over 1,300 active residential listings within Waterloo Region, 39 will come up as being visitable. However, upon closer inspection of these listings, I discover that some of these homes probably aren't technically visitable. Likewise, I know that there are also examples of properties that should fit this criteria that are not coming up and that's because the person listing that property doesn't know what visitable housing is or why this is, why this is important information. Having the technology to do what you want to do is only part of the equation. The bigger challenge now is raising awareness among the membership and greater realtor community so that they understand what visible housing is. We also have to educate them on how they can use these features to not only better market their listings, but also collectively we can better serve our clients. Working with Trudy and her team, we've introduced the concept of accessible and adaptable housing in, the, in our MLS system. For any room that is identified in the listing, the seller and listing agent are able to flag it for having certain features and attributes. Some things like skylights or fireplaces, or more to the point, as being accessible or adaptable. Now that the system supports this, our focus at the Kitchener-Waterloo Association of Realtors is supporting these changes through continued education. And that's why today's forum is great. And I'm glad to see many of my actual realtor colleagues here in this room. I want to thank the KW Visible Housing Initiative for what they are doing and the support they have provided to the Kitchener-Waterloo Association of Realtors. They have put together some great tools for both real estate professionals and home seekers. I just want to grab this because this is a really important piece. <clears throat> there is the Understanding Accessible Features to Meeting Housing Needs publication. Everyone should for sure take this with you, and especially the realtors in the room, because this is a fantastic checklist to have available. This can be put in your toolbox and is always accessible for you if you're trying to figure out uh, you, the listing that you have, whether it is visitable or if it has some adaptable and accessible features in it. As president of CORE, I'm very proud that we were able to integrate visibil visibility in our regional MLS. I do believe this is just the beginning. As we expand our MLS system to cover additional jurisdictions across Ontario, and as the awareness of visitable housing increases, we should see more real estate associations adopting this as a standard field. And we, and we really need to acknowledge the work that Trudy and her team have done from the Social Development Centre of Waterloo Region and the Visitable Housing Task Force. This happened because of their initiative. And with a little bit of good timing and, a re, and, re, and regionalizing our MLS system, we were able to get this integrated much faster than it would have otherwise, and certainly reach a much larger group of realtors. Now the real work of education and awareness building needs to begin, and it's a great first step that we're committed to. Thank you.